Today we're going to demonstrate how to use the Gilson HMA610 Direct Residual Shear Data Acquisition Software that automatically records and graphs test data during direct residual shear testing of soil. The Gilson HMA610 Direct Residual Shear Data Acquisition Software is an intuitive, easy to use Windows based software that records and graphs direct residual shear soil testing calculations in accordance with ASDM D3080 and ASHTO T236 test specifications. And test results can be printed in a customizable PDF and easily exported into spreadsheet applications such as Excel. Please note we are not actually performing a direct shear test. For this demonstration, we are going to use the software's practice feature. The practice feature allows the user to familiarize him or herself with the software. More on that later. Before we start, let's review the menu options. At the top of the program window, we have File, Utilities, and Help. Click on File and we can begin a new test. Open a previous test. Save the existing test. Save and open test as a copy or in a different location using the Save As button. Create a PDF of a test report. Preview a test report before it's printed. Print a test report and exit the program. Click on Utilities and we can enter the test settings. Click on Settings and a new menu opens. Here we can enter the readout box channel assignment. Enter the test equipment used. Enable or disable pop-up keyboard feature. Indicate whether we want the report in metric or imperial units. And enter the testing agency information. In addition to settings, click on calibration to enter calibration information for pneumatic units used in the test. Click on help to find assistance with this program, contact information, or to activate your software. And of course, with most software programs, there is more than one way to execute a program command. Here at the top, you will also see file command icons, where you can start a new test, open an existing test, save a test, save a test as a copy, export test results as a PDF, preview your test report, print your test report, and enter the help menu. Now that we have reviewed the menu bar, let's demonstrate how to perform a new test using the Gilson HMA610 Direct Residual Shear Data Acquisition Software. Make sure all connections to the computer and the data readout box are secure. It is recommended that the unit be disconnected from the internet to avoid test interruptions from automatic Windows updates. Click on File and New to begin the process. Now, click on Utilities and Settings. Next, enter the readout box channel assignment. Enter the testing agency information, which will be printed on the test report. Indicate whether you want the report in metric or imperial units. Enter the equipment used for the test. And finally, enable or disable the pop-up keyboard feature for testing while using a tablet. If you're using an on-screen keyboard, like the one found on a tablet, be sure to enable pop-up keyboard's keypad function. For this demonstration, we are using a standard desktop keyboard, so we will leave this box unchecked. Click Save and Close. In addition to the application settings, calibration information for pneumatic units can also be entered. Select Calibration from the Utilities drop-down menu. In the Calibration menu, enter the date of the calibration, serial number of the direct shear unit, and the calibration data. These values should be updated each time the unit is calibrated. Click Save and Close. Now, prepare a sample in accordance with the selected test method then seat the shear box with sample in the direct shear unit. Now, in the Setup tab, enter project and sample information. 
Yellow boxes indicate required entries to complete testing. The values in the bottom right-hand corner of the Setup tab are calculated using the required entries. Select Calculate to perform these calculations before selecting Next. It is recommended that the unit be disconnected from the Internet to avoid test interruptions from automatic Windows updates. Now, in the Connections tab, make sure the correct serial port is connected using the Serial Port drop-down menu. For this demonstration, we are going to use the software's Practice feature. Click Set File and navigate to the desired file location. Name the file and then click Save. Click Next to continue to the next tab. In the Consolidation tab, Select the graphing format from the drop-down menu. The graph can be displayed in linear time, log time, or the square root of time. The recording frequency defaults to 0.01 minutes for the first three minutes of testing, but can be adjusted by entering a different value in the recording frequency field. Then click Start Consolidation. If using a pneumatic unit, Apply the load using the pressure regulator, then click OK Begins Consolidation to continue on to the consolidation phase of the test. The software will automatically detect the applied load. For dead weight units, when prompted, enter the normal load value in pounds. Once the appropriate weights are loaded, click OK Begin Consolidation and then release the load arm. The test data gathered is displayed in tabular format and graphical format. To view the graph, select the Consolidation Graph tab. A graph of the current stage will be displayed in real time. To start a new consolidation stage, click New Stage, apply the appropriate load, then click OK New Stage. For deadweight units, enter the applied loads in pounds before continuing. Repeat this step until all stages have been completed. Once completed, click Stop Consult, and the software will stop collecting test data. When asked, do you want to stop consolidation, click OK. Calculations are then performed and will appear in the bottom half of the Consolidation tab. Click Next to continue to the shear phase. Remove the alignment screws from the shear box and click Start Shear in the Shear Test tab. A dialog box will appear with the pre-shear checklist. Ensure that all items on the checklist have been completed. Select OK and begin the shear phase. To start a new shear stage, click New Stage. When the dialog box appears, click OK and begin the next stage. Repeat this step until all stages have been completed. Once completed, click Stop Shear to stop collecting test data. When asked, do you want to stop shear, click OK to stop the shear test. Calculations are then performed and will appear in the bottom half of the Shear Test tab. Click Next to continue to the Final Test tab. Please note, when running a residual shear test, beginning a new stage, as stated earlier, the software will automatically detect the directional change and identify that stage as residual. Enter the final percent moisture in the Finish Test tab, then click Calculate final results to generate the final test calculations. The test data will be saved and the final values will be displayed. To determine the friction angle and cohesion intercept, navigate to the friction angle tab in the software. Select two points from the test data to create a best fit line. Click Calculate and the software will calculate friction angle and cohesion intercept.
You can now preview, print, or export your test data. For any questions about the Gilson HMA 610 Direct Residual Shared Data Acquisition Software, or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson Technical Support Team.